with uh, 1664 connectors, it will be very difficult. And also you have to make sure that all the cabling uh, has uh, identical electrical lens. That will be very challenging. So the ideally we are thinking if you have solution from the testing solution provider. You can think about if there are any connected lens solution. What is good for this kind of testing? And also, if you have an OTA, good OTA solution, testing solution, will be great. However, come back to OTA testing, the one of the challenges will be uh, the accuracy. Right? So usually people will not rely on OTA for performance lab testing. It's only for functional. We need, if we move to OTA testing, we are looking for the solution that promise accurate measurement. And certainly, the second, the, the, another driver will be the cost. When the, we want lower the deployment cost, it eventually will down to reduce the cost for the end user and make the 5G deployment enable in most more uh, user cases. Yeah, here it's a, a, a few saw something I already uh, touched here. So basically that's our, we are, our uh, learning and the feedback for the industry to think about uh, what to, uh, we can do you know, to supporting the 5G deployment and the data borrowing. Shana, you have something to add up. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, we have time for maybe one question, and then afterwards you guys could catch uh, Howard and Sharon after reports. Any questions for these guys? We have one? Okay. Yeah, please. Uh, so, with the 28 uh, gigahertz um, deployment, we've been talking about very small cells. So, there's a uh, large amount of um, either holes or buildings that we need to. Uh, so how big a problem is that going to be to acquire the drugs to, uh, to install those uh, Yeah, I think... Uh, I didn't hear the question. Yeah. Question, uh, uh, he's asking, let me repeat the question, it's uh, for the deployment of the 5G radio, because so this need a high density of deployment. What's a challenge, right, in finding the location from the airport? What's a challenge? Yeah, there are several challenges, not just one challenge. Uh, uh, getting the fiber to where you would like to radiate is a big challenge. And location of those, uh, of those uh, radiating spots. And getting approval from the municipalities to have those uh, radiating points. And how, how much approximately can that be to human use? Because it is radiating high energy signal. So there are several challenges which we need to take care of. And where we are going to place it, how well it is providing the coverage we need, and what sort of uh, regulatory issues that we need to tackle. Those are different challenges which we have come through. Does that answer your question? Yes, through the deployment, we are seeing, uh, actually, it's a really challenging uh, area. We are seeing, initially, we identify some or to for the it's the best area to de install the radio head. However, we found a lack of a, either lack of a fiber, dark fiber. So if you want to lay additional dark fiber, you will increase cost. Right? You have to find the alternative. And also this uh, leasing question <coughs> is also a very challenging. You saw some area we have a I have agreement, I have a full design, everything being uh, uh, mm -hmm. set down. With a um, uh, franchise leasing is an expert. <laughs> so we we'll have to go through the process once again. So it's a lot of challenges. So we need the. So for the particular question, we have to use complicated CAPEX, COPEX. If you deliver the signal, you have to use COPEX. Can you leave the units? So what the ratio of putting you into a defensive, a static cabin, or a static? I, I, so, if your 
Uh, yeah, I would say uh, certainly the service is uh, uh, doable, right? That's a certainly we can provide the promise of service. Yeah, talking about the However, the yeah, the revenue of the right. that you can kind of Everything, there is a cost if you have to make profit. Uh, so you think this is a very doable, but it can be used for like this, like, file, more, kind of cheap, and then you put it? Yeah, uh, absolutely. I think this is actually what be the question we are looking for the answer to the trial, right? So it will be something between OPEX and the CAPEX. So you probably from LT, you could be it's, it's uh, capex. Number one, moving to uh, uh, 5G, it's going to be part of capex or to opex, right? However, it's more related to uh, the user case. What's the best user case to identify in order to make the possible cash flow? This is something we need to go into. And also, right now, probably everything is very expensive. They are a small group of the provider, right? There are no a good, a good number of uh, solutions uh, available. The cost definitely is an issue. However, when looking forward, so when more people move in, uh, then a player goes in, definitely can trim down the cost. And from the long run, we can uh, extend the application to the current fixed wireless to the additional use case. But I think and you can also integrate the uh, vertical. There's a lot of people talking about vertical integration, right? So when you integrate the additional service, mm -hmm. introduce service, because we are laying down the 5G system, it's enabling, it's enabling our additional, introduce additional service, right? So bringing those uh, into your function uh, equation, we are looking, we can probably can identify what's the best use case, what's the best uh, situation we can. Uh, with fit for the 5G uh, uh, system that's a benefit and answer this question. Great. Well let's let's take a break now. I'm going to find more